There are n unsorted arrays a1, a2, etc. up to an. Assume that n is odd. Each of a1, a2, an contains n distinct elements. There are no common elements between any two arrays. The worst case time complexity of computing the median of medians of a1, a2, etc. up to an is dash. Four options are given here. So this is a question from algorithms section. In the question they are giving us n arrays a1, a2, a3, etc. up to an. Each of these arrays has n elements. So total number of elements in all the arrays combined together will be big, equal to n square. There are n square elements in total in all of these arrays. And we need to find out median of each of these elements. And then after that we need to compute the median of the medians of each of these arrays. Now it is said that each of these arrays are unsorted. Which means that in order to find the median of array a1, let us say, a1 is unsorted. So in order to find the median, we need to read every elements in a1 at least once. We need, if it was sorted, we could have directly gone to the middle of the array and got the median. But since it is unsorted, at least we will need to read all the elements one. Meaning there are total n square elements and we will need to read all of these elements at least once in order to find medians and that's the calculation. So complexity has to be at least of n square. So we can directly strike out options A and B. A runs in O n and B runs in O of n log n. That is not possible because there are n square elements and we need to read all of them at least once. Now options C and D remains. Okay, so if you look at it now, if we are sorting the arrays A1, A2, A3, etc. up to A1, sorting array A1 will take n log n time. So sorting n arrays of size n will take n into n log n time. In that case, see we will sort array a1 in n log n time. So after that we will get the median. Similarly, after n into n log n time, we will get all of those medians. There will be n medians in total. Additionally, we just need to do n log n steps in order to find the median of that array. Now if you are sorting each of these and finding the median, the total time complexity would be n into n log n. n log n is for sorting each array and finding the median and n into this because we are doing it for n arrays. If that is the algorithm we are using it will take n square log n time in order to do this problem. But finding the median of an array we don't need to sort that array. The median of an array of size n can be found in o n time using the algorithm median of medians. So if you are ap applying the median of median algorithm, we can find out the median of array a1 or each of the arrays in o n time only. We don't need to sort the array and spend o n log n time in order to get the medium. So you can learn about this algorithm here. You can learn about this online and, or in Wikipedia or somewhere. Please learn about this. So using that algorithm, I can get the median of each of the arrays in o n time. Meaning I can get the median of n arrays in n into o n time that is o of n square plus after that i have n medians and n medians will form an array another array of size n finding the median of that will again take another o n time so but it is o n square plus o n so that is o n square only which means that option c is the right answer